I don't know that I'll ever have the cognitive dissonance required to walk into the most ornate, bedazzled, top-class casino and gamble against it. Where do you think the money comes from? It's not from patrons winning big pots regularly. If I were a gambling man, I would only bet against the most run-down, haggard-looking, barely-functioning casinos. Similarly, your odds of winning the lottery while the pot surges past $1 billion are at their lowest point. As the size of the pot increases, your odds decrease. Though lotto ticket sales surge at this point. The lotteries and casinos are upfront about how they take your money. Rarely is there fine print telling you that you spent all your money for nothing. That you needn't spend a dime whilst you lost your life savings. That after all you'd spent, there was no purchase necessary. Scrolling Twitter when an advertisement for a certain pepper-related pseudo-fast-food restaurant disguised as a Twitter user came across my screen. The initial tweet caught my eye, but the reply underneath grabbed my attention. Reading this guerrilla marketing tweet, you might begin to notice a duplicity in its wording. To enter, simply make a $5 purchase in a restaurant or order in-app or online. Then this odd word I wasn't able to find in Webster's Dictionary. Nopperneck. Okay, I'm being facetious. Of course they mean to say no purchase necessary. But the only time they mention it in the tweet is this one shorthand 10 letter word and people noticed. So to gain entry, you have to make a purchase that exceeds $5, but at the same time, there's no purchase necessary. But you have to make a purchase that exceeds... Ugh, proofread this shit! This sent me down a rabbit hole. But before joining Alice, let's run through some flashcards. I promised my regular viewers that I would include facts in this video. So here's the Chipotle facts. Fact number one. Davy Allison, famed Nepo Baby of Bobby Allison, both NASCAR heroes, who suffered catastrophic accidents, died in a horrific helicopter crash the day that Chipotle was started, July 13th, 1993. Chipotle has their very own DJ named Christopher Golub, who looks exactly like the type of guy to DJ at a Chipotle at a 4pm on a Tuesday. In 2010, ICE agents in Minnesota, who are presumed to be next to useless in Minnesota, audited several Chipotle restaurants and found that some of the employees were hired under false pretenses. The audit then expanded to Virginia and DC and searched over 60 restaurants. A whopping 40 employees were found to have falsified documents. The former head of ICE now works for Chipotle after this successful string of operations. Chipotle settled a $20 million lawsuit for scheduling employees during sick leave. Unaffected by this lawsuit, the DJ continued to auto-generate Spotify playlists for Chipotle patrons, presumably during his lunch break after the big rush at the Chipotle where he works as a shift manager. Fact number 5. Your grandmother probably pronounces it Chipotle. Back to the investigation. <laughs> Shit. Lottery. Noun. A drawing of lots in which prices are distributed to the winners amongst persons buying a chance. Giveaway. Noun. The act of giving something away for free. Contest. Noun. A competition in which each contestant performs without direct contact with or interference from competitors. Sweepstakes. Noun. A form of contest used in promotional marketing wherein no consideration is required. 
consideration is a payment or reward. While looking for a definition for sweepstakes, each one I came across, besides the one on Google, mentioned horse racing. What's up with that? According to Oxford University Press, a sweepstake is a form of gambling, and in the context of horse races, all of the winnings are divided amongst those who gambled on the winning horse. It originally referred to the winner who swept, or won, the stakes, or betting, of the race. Though this is traditionally outdated definition, arising in the 14th century, nowadays the term is typically used in a marketing context which, in order to be considered legal in most countries, must not require purchase and offer other means of entry. But why do we never hear about that second option? Most jurisdictions simply require that an alternative method for entry be provided. However, nowhere do they require that this free method is explicitly stated in the marketing material. Side note, I found this little tidbit in the rules of the Chipotle raffle, and I thought it was odd. Canadian entrance only, a winner must provide the correct answer to a math question. Which, I thought they were just picking on good old maple mates up north, but as it turns out, Canadians don't like luck. Sorry to all the Irish Canadians, but get your four-leaf clovers out of here, eh? So there must be some element of skill, and honestly, doing an elementary level math problem is the most nerdy, cowardly way to go about this. They could do something like an eating challenge. Just like, here's 30 pounds of undercooked beef, eat it in 20 minutes to get your prize. But let's say you wanted to enter, but you don't really even like Chipotle, so you don't want to buy any. How do you enter without making a purchase? Here's the rule set for entries made through purchases. And here's the rules for those who wish to enter for free. If you make a purchase above $5, you get one entry, one entry per day per purchase through the promotion period. Send an email to sweepstakes at chipotle.com, include your full legal name, address, telephone number, email, and your Chipotle Rewards ID number. You can find this number by opening your member card on the app or sign into the Chipotle website and click on the account, then select preferences, then copy the alphanumeric code on the page and include it in the email. <laughs> You'll only get one entry in the sweepstakes for emailing them. You can email them once per day, get up to seven entries. Which of these sounds easier? I'll let you decide. Don't be fooled. The alternative method is not free. You are giving them valuable data, which they will sell. According to the privacy policy on Chipotle's website, Chipotle sells information to their affiliates, which includes names, addresses, phone numbers, email address, identifiers such as Chipotle member IDs, date of birth, record of orders, and participation in surveys, focus groups, and other marketing efforts such as sweepstakes. <laughs> Curious how scammers learn how susceptible you are to sweepstake scams? Chipotle sells this info to third parties who then get absorbed by bigger companies who may have weaker privacy protections. And then, slowly this information makes its way to scammers through international organizations who present themselves as advertising agencies. But in reality, they're just shell companies with no expenditures or... Uh, hold on, I'm uh, getting a call here. Uh, my car's extended warranty? I, um, sorry, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, 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 oh.